This year we're starting a new sleep obesity services program and our initial and perhaps most primary focus is on the fatigue and exercise balance problems that we see in individuals who suffer uh, from obesity. And this is an area where I think it's very important uh, for certain patients with weight problems to capitalize on techniques that may help them lose weight uh, because they're getting better sleep. Now the simplest uh, picture of this is that when you are more tired, you're going to exercise less. And in fact, when you're more tired or fatigued, your risk for injury uh, during exercise is greater, which is why I often tell many of my patients with sleep disorders, um, especially physiological sleep disorders such as sleep apnea, not to overdo the exercise until after they have begun successfully treating the sleep condition. Now with obesity, uh, there can be no guarantee that a uh, greater exercise program will result in weight loss, but for a certain segment of obese patients, it does seem to be very helpful. And the motivation that you need for that comes directly from having a higher energy state not a state of fatigue, not a state of sleepiness, not feeling tired all the time. So one of the initial approaches in our program is going to be to actually measure fatigue and sleepiness in obese patients and see how we can improve that over the course of several weeks and months and then find out if that's going to correlate with increased exercise habits and hopefully uh, some weight loss after the exercise habits have been put into place.